Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis. So I own this Japanese PC engine, but sadly the RF signal is just absolutely horrific. I'm even using a brand new RF cable that works really well with my NES and Super Nintendo, but for some reason with this Japanese PC engine, it just looks really dreadful. I'm assuming it probably has something to do with the kind of internal circuitry of the device, or it might even just be the RF jack, maybe a bit of oxidization on the internals or something. I'm guessing at some point I'll probably have to open this and replace some of the capacitors. But even if I did replace the capacitors and the RF signal was crystal clear, I'd still have one bigger issue. The PC Engine is a Japanese console, and it outputs a 60Hz video signal, whereas my UK TV is PAL 50Hz. So essentially the video that gets output from my PC Engine will be black and white on my UK TV. If you live in Japan or North America, that wouldn't be an issue because both of those regions use 60Hz video signals. One way around this issue would be if I could output an RGB video signal from this PC engine. But sadly, this PC engine did not come with RGB video out. It only comes with this RF port. And sadly, this is where my PC engine adventure comes to a grinding halt. Well, at least that's what I thought. Thankfully, Retro Upgrades has come to my rescue. So Retro Upgrades is a pretty cool website that sells this even cooler gadget called the NEC PC Engine RGB Add-on Board. It's an amazingly simple, effective and affordable gizmo that allows you to output RGB video and audio from your PC Engine, Core Graphics and TurboGrafx-16 systems. So this RGB board is actually super easy to use and install and I'll show you. So once you've taken it out of the packet you need to get your PC Engine and what you're going to do is plug the add-on board into the back into the EXT port of your PC Engine. And that's it, it's as simple as that. And you'll be able to plug in a Sega Mega Drive 2 cable into there, or a Sega Genesis 2 cable, and then you can plug the other end into your TV. You'll get a razor sharp 240p color RGB image and sound outputted into your TV. And there's no soldering or programming or any kind of difficult installation required. You'll be able to use both C-Sync and Sync on Composite cables. So if you have SCART or Composite, you'll be covered. And something this has over some other devices is if you use a Turbo EverDrive that supports PC Engine CD games or TurboGrafx CD games, you'll also be able to get sound out of this too. So there are two options on how you can purchase this. You can either buy just the circuit board without the case, or you can get the circuit board and the case. And there are a few different colors you can select for the case to match your PC Engine or Core Graphics systems. The case should fit fine in your PC Engine and Core Graphics systems, but I do believe with a Turbo Graphics you might have a couple of issues, so any TurboGrafx-16 owners might want to just buy the circuit board on its own. Now, I just want to make clear that Retro Upgrades did not pay me a penny to make this video. I'm making this video because this is a damn good product that allows me to finally play my PC Engine in color, in RGB, on my TV. And I received the item in less than 24 hours. I think it was like next day delivery or something. If you're interested in other retro hardware, I strongly advise you go and subscribe to their Instagram page and follow them on Twitter or X. Anyway, thanks to this, the PC Engine RGB add-on board, I'm finally able to get cracking on making some accurate PC Engine and PC Engine CD shader presets. I hope this video has been useful, especially if you own a PC Engine or a TurboGrafx system. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching. Thank you.